channel on today's video we're going to be talking about how to be happy single okay <laughs> before i get into the video make sure that you subscribe and you're part of my youtube family and yeah let's get into the video being single is the best way to get to know yourself i know everybody says this like if you're single you get to but then really if you're single you get to know why you act a certain way to certain situations why are you so emotional about certain things you can't be in a relationship and try to learn why you act a certain way before you get into the relationship you should already know that you should already know yourself to that level unfortunately a lot of people don't like being single or can't be single let, let me not even say don't like they can't be single like people get into a relationship after a relationship after a relationship which doesn't even make sense you're supposed to enjoy your own company enjoy being alone i get it being single key or growth so it allows you to nurture your mental health you level up emotionally spiritually it's, it's your chance to do all of this i have been single for the longest and it's something that it has become a part of me now like there's nobody that wants to see me in a relationship so bad like my friends my parents think that i'm lesbian but it's fine <laughs> I have nothing against relationships i love love i love seeing my parents every day together after being married for so long like that's wonderful i have nothing against love but i feel like i'm in my 20s and i'm in my early 20s it's it's the best time for me to just like i said get to know myself and what I like doing. Being single basically allowed me to just be compassionate and be considerate to other people's feelings and not and not try to have my way all the time. You know, it, it made me realize that everybody's different and everybody thinks different. So you have to consider people's um uh, feelings all the time and if you make a point in a conversation or an argument it doesn't mean that the other person's point is invalid or it makes it wrong just because you feel like your point is the best one generation Erna, it's worse like people don't even want to be single because everybody's in a relationship people are on instagram in bye but there are couple goals now everybody wants to be couple goals first of all you see, you can't see a couple on Instagram and wish to be happy like them and be like them because people only show you what they want you to see and you don't even know what's happening behind people's closed doors. So why would you wish that energy upon you? Like imagine if the couple that you call couple goals they fight they fight every day now you see a video of them and then you're like i wish i was like them mara they fight all the time so one the energy that you're wishing upon yourself the energy that uh, if you are single and you've been single for the longest <laughs> listen there's nothing wrong with you there really is nothing wrong with you and don't even feel pressure from other people especially your friends if your friend stays changing relationships uh, as soon as they get out of a relationship they already have a guy waiting for them and you feel like people don't see you first of all you can't feel pressure she's always changing boyfriends because First of all, her relationships don't even work. So <laughs> why would you feel pressure or finish like I'm telling her? She can't even last six months in a relationship. That is nothing. I really have never had an issue with being single. I swear at this point in my life, I feel like my 20s are my selfish years. And it's the years that I get to explore. I get to do things by myself and 
appreciate being by myself because there's people that can't even go to the mall alone people can't even go have lunch by themselves and that is an issue like why should it bother you so much okay let me not judge because at first i couldn't because when i when i when i would go to the mall alone i would feel very self-conscious like people are looking at me uh and then when i started getting comfortable with myself i realized that oh, people don't even care people don't even know you i have that attitude first of all people that you see at the mall you're never gonna see them again so why should you feel self-conscious or volley village or what so why would you feel bad if they look at you being single also gives you the opportunity to look back on the relationships that you've had and try to understand why they all failed because most of the time when you jump from relationship to relationship you don't really look at your faults you're always blaming the other person like they don't act right they're always treating you like trash they always talk to you like you don't have some sense they always shout at you raise their voice at you and you have to now when you're some well, when you're in a relationship you always see their faults like he's always shouting he's always doing this he's always but when when you're single and you sit back and you look back you start trying to understand it gives you the opportunity to try to understand why why do i act like this why am i always in relationships where people treat me like this okay now if you know yourself and you're comfortable with yourself to that extent or you can't get into a relationship and tolerate somebody shouting at you first of all no and you you won't even date the same type of guys all the time you're gonna date people that you can tell or they treat you nice this thing i only like bad boys it's for the birds guys like really i said or my 20s are my selfish years i am not gonna be 22 crying or he didn't come home yesterday that is not gonna be me honey no a lot of people feel like their 20s gay those years they must find their soulmate start a life get their 20s travel together don't get me wrong that is wonderfully if you're in your 20s and that happens for you but like don't rush it you have all the time in the world like le you legit have all the time in the world even when you're 30 you're still young but unfortunately you guys just feel like when you turn by 21 you must find the guy and yeah do be goals and just be happy and butterflies and everything but relationships are hard work first of all when you're in a relationship we have to consider the other person's feelings you must report to somebody all the time some people love being in relationships and but she should be more fussing to be in relationships but relationships are not for everybody people find it very insane or out of this world when you tell them that you're single i know somebody's gonna watch this video like what she's single there's no way like there's no way she's happy there's no way being single and guys you can you really can be genuinely happy with a single like you don't need to be in a relationship in order to be happy i'm very content i'm very fine i don't even want to change anything like everything is just fine i'm not even complaining and i'm happy i am glowing i don't have pimples i don't have anything honey <laughs> i was talking to one of my friends the other day and she was saying you can't be single now you're supposed to be in a relationship because you're not gonna be pretty forever and i'm like okay I get that I'm not gonna be pretty forever. When I get older, there's gonna be more young. There's gonna be younger people that are way prettier than me. But that's only if we're not give Fagela that pressure. If I'm 40 trying to compete with 20 year olds, then that's not gonna work. But if I'm 40 and I, I and I look good as hell for my age, 
listen i'm fine i can find a man at 45 and still be happy the the reason why you guys feel like you must be in relationships all the time is because you feel the pressure you feel the pressure like you have to be with a life partner and have four kids by 30 and be successful you can't plan life and you can't even plan where you're gonna be successful by 30 you don't know that you your business could start uh, picking up at 45 you don't know that so why don't you just chill for a minute and just sit back and relax and just notice your surroundings a lot of people also vanally mentally you know how it, we all had that ugly face ne? in high school like we were all ugly and everything now when you get to varsity you start growing up you start looking beautiful now all the boys are after you all the boys wanna be with you now what society says is you need to take advantage of the attention that you get from guys because you're not gonna get it forever at some point it's all gonna stop and i was watching first dates yesterday and a woman at 75 was on a date and honey she was so happy so i know you guys people fear dying alone oh my god i don't wanna die alone i wanna have somebody to die with guys that's too much pressure that's too much pressure on yourself as soon as you start relaxing and you start being comfortable with being alone and doing things alone people are even people are gonna gravitate towards you this another friend of mine Barco Sophie now I was talking to her hi girl if you're gonna watch this <laughs> I was talking to her and she told me Lord, the reason why people gravitate towards you is because when I let this positive aura about you like you're so positive all the time and you're always happy you're never grumpy because I was telling her I'm like Yo, the guys that like me, they don't give up. Five years ago, I'm like, what do you see? What do you want? Like, move on. And she, she, she was like, Miguel, people wanna be around you. People want the energy that you have. So, imagine if Luena wanna be carefree like this and just relax and don't put too much pressure on yourself. Look at black coffee Mikel Wagare. Let me put some respect on her name. Um and Kambali. I think Heva too. I have to get goals out here. Jiggy jiggy divorce. Heva too. And you're wishing that upon yourself. Or yeah, I wish I was like them. Ah. You don't want to rush into a relationship. I don't think anybody wishes that upon themselves to divorce or get married five times. And I wouldn't even want to get married five times. Like I want to get married only once. I hope. And then just, yeah. So don't plan out your life. That is so unnecessary. And that is gonna just be a full-on disappointment and you also don't want to be desperate also because if you're desperate you're going to be with a lot of frogs and you're not gonna even notice your prince charming alimo bilagarao as motune you are the lead character of upilagarao you are you are the star of your you are the light the star everything of your life listen you are the director the everything of your life so you don't want to find yourself all fully settled in a relationship that you never thought you could be in you end up losing yourself because at, at the end of the day as much as you want to be in a relationship and you guys live a one live it together you're your own person i don't know what you guys' definitions of being in a relationship and dating are but for me dating like i said that i'm single it doesn't mean that i'm not connected to everyone alone i'm trying to get to know myself so good luck and from the whole day no i have friends and i have people that i'm talking to i am dating which means like i am talking to different kinds of people to know what i like and because i don't want to be i don't want to be in a relationship with each and every guy that comes to me 
at the end of the day kibile in 10 failed relationships in a month which doesn't even make sense so i date and see what i like and what i like i'll be in a relationship with what i like it makes sense a relationship and dating other people just see it as the same thing but it's not so other people just be in relationships because they want to have fun they just want to have sex all the time and when they're single if they have sex with different people they're gonna be labeled you guys know the labels they're gonna be labeled so when you're in a relationship it's excusable because that's your part that you can do it all the time but listen honey if you sleep with eight guys in a month because you're trying to see your best guy do it ah uh, the labels listen if a guy wants to know how many guys you slept with before our are your marriage material then throw the whole guy away why 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 does he have to know how many people you slept with before he says or oh, your girlfriend material so if i slept with 10 guys i'm not girlfriend material being single really pushes you to develop as a human being guys only if you take it seriously because other people are just single mara they're single looking they're single by vanyakare and sure i had a conversation with my friend a while back me you know what she said she was in a relationship with this guy so the guy cheated that's fine and the guy ghosted at the mind another guy likes him so the guy that cheated came back now i'm like why would you go back to the guy that treated you like trash whereas you can get to know this lovely young man and be in a relationship with them and start something beautiful with them and she said she'd rather be in a relationship with the guy that cheated because the new guy she's lazy to get to know somebody all over again i understand it but now i find it now nah, i'm always happy to get to know somebody new get to know people's personalities and how people think and everything because we're all different we all think differently and yeah i like the process of getting to know somebody and just falling in love with somebody's personality i live for that so if you're gonna and that's not only her if she thinks like that then that's not only her it means that a lot of people do think like that because there's a lot of us in this world so you're gonna be stuck in a relationship with somebody that doesn't satisfy you but you're comfortable so you'd rather be there than start over again which is something that happens with people that have been in relationships for a long time people get stuck in relationships because relationship is daily but you you are still holding on because we've been together for 10 years i can't let all those memories go next thing you know you're gonna be out here complaining about time that time is not on your side if you're gonna compete against time then just know time is gonna be your worst enemy because time will never wait for you and next thing you know you're gonna wake up you're 40 and you feel like you haven't accomplished anything and you're still insecure about certain things you listen you can't be 30 and insecure you can't be 40 and insecure you have to work it out in your 20s okay get it over and done with in your 20s you are not taking that over to your 30s and your 40s you can't be afraid to have fun because you fear being slut chained or you fear being labeled a certain way when are you want to be a good girl because good girls are marriage material hey wena otlapela buima otlapela buima go out there and have fun if you can barely manage yourself what makes you think or you can be in a relationship and try to manage that you know there's those people that only take care of themselves when they're in a relationship like ah why do i need to get my nails done when i'm single <laughs> i'll get them done when i'm in a relationship but 
you need to do them for yourself that means when you do things for other people being single doesn't mean worry you don't want to be in a relationship it just means working on yourself and working on your mental health so you have to do one thing at a time nobody's putting pressure on you you are putting pressure on yourself Ricky, pillow pressure 25 is coming like 25 is upon us like 25 is just right here if you're like 21 22 23 25 is just here so if one of you planned work by 25 or really bmw and really a beautiful man that's gonna take care of you all the time and give you and umo fevana I care. Tlavana ka wena sister. Guys, don't be stuck in relationships because you're afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. That that is the beauty of life. Like you put yourself out. You can't be scared of rejection. Everybody gets rejected. Even I get rejected. If you think I'm pretty and you think like yo 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 she's pretty, there's no way she gets rejected. Hey, when that is tough on you, we pull again, guys. We pull again. The water I left and right, left and right. But what are they? We move. <laughs> we move. Just take every day as it comes and be productive every day and be the best you that you can ever be. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and. Shame you hit a widow this time to show me love